Right. Don't try anything. Right. We don't need trouble with you. We're only here as escorts. We know somebody who wants to talk to you. Jake Dallas has got nothing to say to me. That I want to hear anyway. Jake Dallas? Who's Jake Dallas? Oh, really very funny. You got another joke? Oh, the Vegas Jake Dallas. Is that what you mean? What does he want with you? I don't know. Why don't you go call him and ask him? I'll wait right here till you get back. I don't know his number. I never met the man. We do know somebody who does want to talk to you. Oh, really? Who's that? The vice president of NASCORP Music. He wants to discuss the new album NASCORP is releasing of your song. You're kidding. So you really don't know Jake Dallas? Uh-huh. Now be a good boy and get in the car. A7. What's an A7? Back at bar 15. Where's bar 15? Oh, I'll get it. You want to play a back and show them? Yeah, one more time. Hello? Bobby Lee Jan! Yes, ma'am. I mean, you're here. You're standing right here. I'm looking for Lou Farley, and I stopped by the Gazette, and they said that maybe I could find him here. Oh, of course he's here. He's like one of the family. Yeah, come on in. Lou? Bobby Lee Jams is here to see you. Bobby Lee Jams? How you doing? Hi. Hello, Bobby Lee. I can't believe it. You're really here in the... Wait a minute. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah, and more... Things are getting crazy. I mean, it's not like they haven't been crazy for the last 20 years. They're just getting crazier, that's all. And that article in the Gazette, that lit the fuse for the whole thing. Bobby, a good review's meant to help someone, not hurt them. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what I've been running from all these years. Good reviews, word of mouth, the helping hand. Now, it seems like I've got no place else to run, guys. And besides that, someone's trying to kill me. Recently? Yeah, like today. Two guys jumped me outside the blue bamboo. Quite frankly, I think they wanted to take me to the Big Rocker's burial ground. You know, I'm surprised that I'm not halfway across the country by now. You think they were Jake Dallas's men? You know about him? Well, I did some reading after our talk. Who's Jake Dallas? Oh, he's some big honcho from Las Vegas. I married his girlfriend. That didn't please him too much. She left him for me. She dumped him, huh? You got it. How do you explain a plane crash? I don't know how to explain the plane crash. I mean, Lisa and I bought a couple of tickets on an eight-passenger flight going to Catalina. We missed the flight by a couple of seconds. The plane went down, and they never found the wreckage, that's all. They thought you were on it. Yeah, you got it. So Bobby Lee Jans disappeared, and Buddy Dean was born in his place. Bobby Lee, uh, do you know that Jake Dallas is married with four kids living in semi-retirement up in Lake Tahoe? Yeah, I knew about the marriage. I didn't know about Lake Tahoe, though. 20 years seems like a, a long time to hold a grudge. Well, now you're back, and you've got a new album coming out. You can just tell everybody the truth and go back to being Bobby Lee. Look, the album is a fake. It's a total ripoff. I never recorded any of those songs. But the voice, it sounds exactly like you. Voice is not mine. And that's another thing. Those two guys that jumped me, they said they were from NASCORP Music. And some VP there wanted to uh, talk to me about something. I mean, the whole thing's gotten completely weird. It's just strange. You know, maybe it's not absolutely crazy. You know, dead rockers are worth a lot of money these days. Especially if it's uh, new songs never before released. 
Maybe you're turning up alive is putting the wrong bend in NASCAR's profit curve. Forever. Well, they just don't make music like that anymore. Remember how awful our parents thought it was? <sighs> parents used to be like that. Of course, what kids like now really is awful. Oh, there it is! Bobby Lee! Locker is back. Wake up, Bobby Lee it. Chance lives again because Golden Archives, the division of NASCAR Music, has made the musical discovery of a lifetime. Besides, another thing, I would never use the word humongous in or out. So don't delay. Send for your copy of Bobby Lee's 21 Unknown Hits today. Are you sure this is okay? Uh, follow set up with Officer Davis. Last time. I want to see where the bad people are locked up. We don't have time, sweetheart. You'd be late for school. What is all this? It's digital breakdown. This is of an old Bobby Lee record, and this is of the commercial. Mm. Why does it have those extra numbers on the bottom? Oh, that's a code. It just means that it was recorded digitally. Mm. Soon all records will be. Pull them together, and you'll be able to see that the voice in the commercial is an imitation. It really isn't Bobby Lee. They're the same. They're not supposed to be. What could that mean? <laughs> You're asking me? I better call Farley. not home, I got his answering machine. Mm. Hello, Farley, it's Richie. You better call me as soon as you can. Oh, there's Lieutenant Mom. Quinn. No, Mom. Hi, Lieutenant. Oh, Mom. Is he mad at something? I think we'd better go. Can I see where the bad people are locked up? Uh, Cheryl. <laughs> Let's go, honey. Nice try. Julius? Julius Crestor, Lou Farley. He's gonna do a piece on our new Bobby Lee album for the Gazette. Hey, that's fantabulous, man. Hey, all right. Uh, well, uh, do you guys mind if I tape the interview? No, oh, I'll go right ahead. Okay. All right. Well, uh, how'd you find these old recordings? Well, I, I was rummaging through an old studio in Memphis. The owner had died. Uh, NASCORP uh, bought the facility from his widow. And in the back of a dusty vault, I found them. I was real lucky, man. Yeah, well, you, you've been lucky a lot, huh? 